How's it going, everybody? Uh, this is a public service announcement. Uh, it's not exactly the news, and it's not really a ride along or anything like that. Um, I've never done anything like this before, and you know, just wanted to share something with you guys. And uh, if if you know me, um, good sportsmanship. Um, you know, we have a pretty big community of World of uh, Tank players and. You often run into the same guys over and over again on the same server or whatnot. So in that regards, or on the forum, and in that regards, it's kind of a small world. And uh, most of us are good people who just want to have a good time and play a game. And some are more competitive than others and, and all that kind of good stuff. But the majority of people just want to get along with everyone else and get their team to win. And if we all work together, our scores go up and we advance and it's high fives all around and everyone's happy. Now, the flip side of that is, is luckily there, there are very few of them compared to the big scheme of things. But the flip side of that is there are some players uh, or maybe even groups of players that, you know, birds of a feather flock together and they have the same kind of mindset. And sometimes they form clans or Less formally, they just run in, in platoons or just friends or whatever. But there are times when, as players, we run into folks who, what we do, what we call it is, uh, we call it trolling. And um, not to confuse that with a player who doesn't know what they're doing wrong and they accidentally cause you to uh, be bumped or something like that or block you in on accident. We're talking about real trolling where they literally try to mess with you and uh, it's not good for you looks bad on them and it hurts the team all around and just kind of a waste of your time, your experience, and in some cases, even your, uh, your silver and uh, your stats. We've all experienced or at least witnessed it or maybe even, you know, only heard of it. Um, but uh, just the other night, I'm uh, clan tuned up with some buds and we're cruising along doing our thing. And I'm going to show you, um, I'll just show you and then we'll go from there. Dead. No. Wow. I bounced the centennial. That's amazing. Oh, I'm gonna be done here in a second. This game's gonna be a loss. Wow. Yeah. They had. Oh, thanks for, thanks for, look at this guy. There's this TD that's just totally trolling me right now. God damn. He's like literally pushing me out in the front. <sighs> wow. Wow. Thanks. <sighs> wow, I just lost 75% of my health because of this guy. Not happy about it. Well, at least I can uh, side scrape off of them, right? <laughs> that works. I mean, I'm not trolling him. I'm just sitting in the spot that he uh, pushed me into. <clears throat> He's kind of moving you at will. So now at this point, you heard my clanmate. Uh, is even pointing out how he's, you know, he's pushing me around even though I'm, I mean, now I'm like sideways and he's still uh, pushing me. So, you know, in general, you know, you're just bitter about it and you're just, that sucks and you complain about it and you move on. But I'm thinking uh, as a commander of my own clan, he's a part of a clan. Uh, I'm kind of thinking that uh, the commander should, should know about this, right? So I went ahead and contacted him and here we go. So the first step I, I needed to do was figure out who the player was, which happened to be the uh, second one from the bottom. Uh, looking at his clan tag, I looked it up on the World of Tanks console, and I can see that they have uh, six members. 
I need to talk, contact the commander. So in this case, it's uh, public knowledge, ATR, Deadly Waffle. Apparently he's the commander of the uh, ATR clan, which is above the rest, is uh, what the ATR stands by or stands for. So I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, an Xbox Live text message thread where I was just giving them a heads up of what was going on. And it's going to unfold in, in chunks as I show you uh, screenshot after screenshot. And I think it's going to speak for itself. So let me go ahead and let you uh, see what it says. All right, so I write him, uh, you are the registered commander of ATR, so I'm contacting you regarding one of your members, uh, 000 James 000, um, who was trolling me. I record all my games if you want to see it, but in short, he chose to push me into enemy fire and continue to troll. You know, just kind of giving him a heads up, right? So then he responds, he, I guess he had to be on, and he responds, okay, thank you. I will sit down with him. Could I see the clips? So, so far, a very reasonable exchange. So I go ahead and uh, let him know. So out of, res oh, by the way, before he responded, okay, thank you. I was still typing and you can see there's just a few second gap. So I had not read the above message and I was still typing out. So out of respect, I'm giving you the opportunity to let me know how you handle your clan members behavior on the commander of 47R. And I know what my policies are uh, looking forward to your response. Then, of course, uh, at the time I'm finished writing that, I saw that his above message came in, which is the OK, thank you, I'll sit down with him message. And so I responded, of course, I'll send you a link to your email address. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is because it's not on YouTube. I wanted to, you know, I didn't want to embarrass him or anything like that or his clan rather. And I just figured we can just handle this, uh, you know, behind closed doors. I upload it to a folder, uh, in, you know, in the uh, in the cloud and uh, just send him a link so he can view it. Uh, because it's too big to, to email, and uh, he can see it from there. So after me saying that I can go ahead and email him the link, he says, okay, thank you. Nothing happened, so I went ahead and wrote, however, I'll need an email address from you in order to do so. He responds, you got them on YouTube? So I'm thinking, gosh, if they're on YouTube, of course, it's gonna be publicly seen, and again, I was at a courtesy and respect, I didn't, you know, want to blast him with that or his clan, uh, and hence I didn't, you know, upload it. But he's asking about it. Maybe he recognizes my channel. I'm not sure. So again, not, you know, being sure what he means by the YouTube thing or if he recognized me. So I write, you're familiar with my channel? Question mark. Anyway, out of respect, I have not shared the gameplay with the public because it's going to reflect badly, uh, very badly on your clan. Well, and him too. And I didn't think you'd want uh, all the bad publicity. I also wrote, so I contacted you first to give you a chance to respond. And then I corrected my spelling because I'm anal retentive and I switched it for, uh, to the word chance because I put the word change. <laughs> but again, sending me an email, maybe that's too personal for him. He doesn't want to give out that information. I respect that, whatever. So what I wrote to him was, but if you want me to upload uh, to, to YouTube, I can. Uh, it's, it's no big deal to me. Um, I gave him the address, uh, which is, you know, 47r.com if he wants to shoot over to it by that way. If he wants to take the long way, I gave him the uh, Ronin underscore 47R uh, on YouTube so he can locate uh, the channel that way. So after some time, there was no response. And so I wrote, uh, so am I emailing the link to a shared folder in the cloud for you to see? Or am I sharing it on my channel or what's up? And he responds, um, it's fine. Don't worry about the clips. I'll have a word with him. Uh, with the other leaders. So, I mean, he's the commander, but you know, maybe they, they, it's a small clan. Maybe they want to talk about it as a group. Maybe it's just him and his XO, whatever. And then he further writes, I'll also make him send you an apology. Now I'm thinking at this point, gosh, that's, you know, that's very honorable. That's very nice. It's very mature. Uh, this guy's taking care of business with his clan and, um, you know, sounds great, right? So I go ahead and compliment him and uh, give him props. I write him back and I say, uh, you know, much appreciated with the follow through on yours and his part. You will bring honor to your clan. I'll let my clanmates know the outcome from this exchange. And he sends back a smiley face. Um, in fact, after that, I'm thinking, gosh, as long as they follow through, um, I should let the public, the community know what a great clan, what a great and honorable clan this, uh, this is headed up by this guy uh, because, you know, people are people and people make some dumb mistakes and it's not about making mistakes. It's about, uh, you know, cleaning up after your, after your mess. So, you know, I was good with all of this. And so I went to bed, but when I woke up, <laughs> um, I saw another message. 
All right, so, um, you know, uh, I'm looking, it's, uh, it's the next day, whatever. I read a message that he's sent me since the last time we smoke, uh, smoke, <laughs> since the last time we spoke, and uh, it says it's been dealt with. Also, turns out he isn't a part of ATR, so that's not much I can do to make him apologize to you. I'm a little confused, by the way, because I'm thinking to myself, this is only a few hours ago. I've just checked the website. He is a part of it. He has the tag. He had a certain, you know, method that he was pursuing this. And now it sounds very different. So I write back to him. How is it that he is in your clan, has your clan's tag and is on your clan's roster? So now he's asking me, for what game? It's almost like we're starting the conversation from scratch, like it's my first contact with them, right? So I answer the question, it's, uh, you know, World of Tanks console, and I said, strange, when we first spoke, you, you recognize them as well. Um, I'm confused. So he writes back, yeah, we don't play it much as a clan since it's not competitive yet, so I haven't gotten around to removing him yet. Okay, so it sounds almost like two different versions of this person. I'm, I'm pretty confused at this point. So then he goes on to answer a part of the uh, text that I sent earlier, which was, um, you know, about recognizing or whatnot. And he goes, of course I know him. I'm one of the leaders in the clan. Okay, kind of established earlier, but all right. So I respond back. I say, okay, so, so he's not a part of ATR, but he's in your World of Tank clan, but you don't play it much, so you haven't removed him yet, question mark. Sounds hinky, but you know, whatever. Um, so I'm trying to get to the point, right? So, so what are you gonna do about it now? It's not clear and I'm, well, I should have said really, uh, oh, I'm real curious now is what I wrote. So now he responds, why do you care so much? Well, <laughs> I care so much because he's, he's uh, saying one thing at one moment. We seem like we concluded our business and now we're starting from scratch and it sounds really different. And at this point, I'm really curious to see how this is going to turn out because now he really has my full attention. So I go ahead and write him back uh, an answer to his question. I said, because your tune and story have changed over the course of the conversation and what you say doesn't add up. But it's okay. You know, I did my part and gave you a fair chance as the commander of the of the clan. You run. I just hope in the future our community can expect good sportsmanship from your clan members. Pretty simple, kind of cut and dry, kind of an explanation as to why I'm trying to follow up, you know? And so he responds one more time to this text thread. And so he writes back, to be honest, I could give a you-know-what if he trolled you, quit being a you-know-what, and move on. We Now, so, so that's one aspect, right? And then he writes, we just play and win. So I'm thinking this whole story started from us in a very losing game. And I don't recall that being a very impressive game by his clan member. But I'm going to put that aside because now I'm extremely curious and um, kind of baffled. And, you know, it's kind of a big fat whatever. So now I'm going to go ahead and take a look at, um, you know, who are these guys? You know, I thought they were taking care of business, representing well for their clan. And now they're just kind of uh, off, off their rocker chair. So I went ahead and went back and, uh, you know, double check, make sure I'm not going to make any mistakes here and uh, looked at the names of the folks that are in their clan. And then I went ahead and started looking at, because remember, um, they're above the rest, according to them. We heard very clearly from their, can, you know, their, their clan commander, what their mission statement is, what they're all about, their purpose in playing and what's important to them. And of course, they also, or he also explained how, um, you know, they just play and they win is is the whole point um, apparently that's what they're very good at so now i'm going to go ahead and start taking a look at the commander and the rest of their uh you know and our good friend james over there look at their uh their stats both on the world of tanks console stat page and then i went over to the world of tank info.net page to see just how these guys represent based on what uh what he's saying 
Well, no place better to start than with the person you're talking to. So I went ahead and looked up the uh, the commander's uh, ATR commander's uh, stats there, and um, the guys that play and win. And his personal rating is 4976, and uh, he's had 937 days in the game to uh, raise that score to that high level. So I went ahead and jumped over to the uh, the other website to take a look there. And over here uh, on this win eight uh, kind of page. Uh, seeing kind of more of the same, um, and he was last on, uh, gosh, uh, September 23rd, so apparently they don't play it a lot, but um, he's on it uh, very recently, as in like a day ago-ish, um, and then there are the uh, the things like how many battles he's had and, you know, how he does in those battles. Last but not least, I was kind of curious to see the efficiency win 7 and, uh, you know, and the win 8 number, uh, and he has a 1335. Uh, um, so I don't need really say anything more about that. And then I went ahead and sort of wasted my time looking at all the players, which I quickly glanced at, but I'm going to spare you the, uh, you know, on the video. I just went ahead and took a look at, uh, our good friend James there, uh, the one who was trolling me, sanctioned by the, uh, the commander of ATR and, uh, his personal rating is 5555 and, He's been in the game for almost a year and taking a look at the uh, win eight stuff. You can see that uh, he's had, uh, you know, um, almost 11,000 battles to uh, get up to that 5,000 mark personal rating. And, uh, you know, see the other data there. And I'm going to jump over to his uh, his win eight stats uh, specifically. And as the uh, commander of ATR predicted, um, you know, they, uh, they play and win. Um, and after 11, almost 11,000 games, he was able to get his uh, win eight up to 1246. So nothing much more to say about that. All right, folks, so I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this thing up. I uh, just wanted to, like I said, just give you a public service announcement uh, so that when you are out in the world and you are on the same team as ATR, just kind of be cautioned as to how far you want to rely on them um, assisting you versus uh, secretly working for the other side. Also, too, if you're uh, interested in joining a clan and, and these guys approach you, if this type of behavior is your kind of thing, then by all means, uh, join this clan, because if this type of behavior is your, your type of thing, th this is the clan for you. Um, they're pretty, pretty open about uh, how they work. And so I don't feel any problem uh, sharing uh, their um, publicly shared uh, mission statement with you. All right, folks, you guys take it easy. Uh, be a role model. Uh, don't be a troll. Uh, most of you guys aren't. Keep up the good work and, uh, you know, keep doing the good job that you're doing out there. And I'll catch you later.